Hi all, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 2 in SQL Playlist. So in this video, we will be covering how to connect to uh, SQL Server with the help of SQL Authentication. So in the last video, we had covered how to connect to SQL Server with the help of Entra ID or Active Directory Authentication. But in this video, what we will be doing is, instead of having Entra only authentication, we will set it to both SQL authentication and Entra authentication and then we will create a user ID and password to connect to this SQL server. Okay, so right now you can see this is the database view and if I go to the server view, you can see in the settings here you can see Microsoft Entra authentication only is set to true, which is why we are only able to log in with the help of my Entra ID, which is the admin for this SQL server. Okay, so how to change it to SQL authentication that we are going to see in this video. So first of all, I will deselect this Microsoft Entra only authentication. And you can see disabling this option will enable SQL authentication. Would you like to continue? I'm saying yes. Okay. And let me save it. So now it's not only Microsoft Entra authentication, it's now both SQL authentication as well as Microsoft authentication. So I'm already connected with my Entra ID authentication. So I'm going to create the user ID and a password, which will be the credential to connect to the SQL whenever we want to connect to SQL server with the help of SQL authentication. So I'm already connected to the SQL server with the help of my Entra ID. And the same, you can do it in the portal as well. Instead of SSMS, you can do the same thing in the portal. Let me go to the SQL database. And in the query editor, you can see Entra authentication. We can continue and we can we will be connected to the database in this Azure portal. And if you see here, this is the default login name and we don't have any password yet. Okay. So we cannot connect via SQL server authentication, even if we have enabled it, but we have not created any login or any password. Okay. So we can continue logging in into the SQL server with the help of Entra authentication through the portal as well. You can see now we are connected to the SQL server with the help of again Entra ID. Okay. And the same thing is here in the SSMS. Okay. So here, first thing that we need to understand is so inside this server, if I expand the server, you can see the databases right now. I just have one database and there will be a system database, which is master database. Okay. So let me collapse this. You can see all the databases here and then security. And then there's something called integration service catalog. So just ignore this for now. We don't need anything with this. Uh, but if you go to security, you can see the logins present in order to access this server. Okay, so this is still we are in the server level. We have not gone inside the databases. So if I expand this, this is the same default login name that we just saw here in the Azure portal. If I click on login, you can see this is the same login which is created by default, but we don't have any password for this. Okay, now we want to create a login such that we will have a user ID and a password and we want to be able to connect to the SQL server with the help of that user ID and password using this SQL authentication. Let me hit here. You can see I want to connect to this SQL server using SQL server authentication. Okay, so let me cancel it. So for that, first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new login. So let me right click on this login and you can see here you have the option of new login. So if I click on that, let's wait. So you can see it is giving us the query to create a new login on server level. We are still on the server level. So here you can see create login and then we need to give the login name. So let me give the login name as demo anu login. Okay. So this will be the login name and we need to give a password here. So let me give welcome at the rate 123. So this is the query which will help us to create the login. So let me execute this. So you can see command completed successfully. And now if I refresh this, you will be seeing two logins. You can see this is what we just created. Now we need to create a user in order to connect to this database. 
so for that you cannot see any user option here in the security of server if we go inside the database and inside database also we have a security option this security is for server level and this one is database level okay so if i expand the database level security option you can see here users role schema everything which is database level options okay and you cannot see login present inside it so login is always server level thing and user roles everything is always database level so we need to create user inside this database so let me click on this new user so it will give us the query that will help us to create the user okay and since we need to have it inside the database so we are connected to this anu demo db so before this we ran this login thing in master database not inside our database it was in the system database or the master database where we created the login but now we need to create the user in our database that we created so here let me give the user name let me give the user name as anu demo user and then for which login i am going to create this user for this demo anu login let me copy this and let me give the login name here and here we need to give the default schema so let me give dbo schema and let me run this to create the user so you can see the command has run successfully now we have got the login for the server and it has the password as well we have got the user and now we need to provide access to this user in order to create the table to insert some rows to perform some actions we need to assign some role to this user so for that let me expand this role option and if we expand this database roles you can see all these roles are present at the database level you can see access admin level then backup operator data reader data writer dll admin all these operations we can perform with the help of these roles so if we do not give this role to the user then this user would not be able to perform any of the actions it would just be able to enter into the server and the database but it would not be able to perform any actions so for that we need to create this role so uh, let me create the data reader role so let me click on that new database role and here you can see the whole query in order to create the role so you can see the first query is to create a database role here you can see there are already few database roles and we don't want to create a new database role instead what we need to do is we need to add an existing user to the database role which is already there so for that i will just run this query and we will use the username and we will give permission that is database reader permission to this user okay so i need to specify the role name here let me cut it and let me remove this one as well so this is basically the query let me go down okay so basically this is the query and here we need to provide the username and then here we need to provide the role name so let me drag it and paste it here okay so this is the role name that i need to provide to this user so i will just execute this statement so you can see command completed successfully so now what i will be doing is i will log in using this login and password okay and then i will try to read the data present in this database with the help of that login and password okay so we will see if we are able to use a select statement or not okay so let's try to connect to the sql server again and instead of using my azure active directory or intra id i will be using sql authentication and i need to give the login and password so let me copy the login first so demo anu login and password is welcome at the rate 123 so let me connect it welcome welcome at the rate 123 let me connect to this server so it says it is not accessible to master database so let me go to options and here let me provide the database name so let me give the database name let me grab the database name from the portal 
let me paste it here and let me try to connect now so it should be connecting to that particular database with the help of user id and password which we just created so you can see the first one was from the enter id and the second one which is getting connected is with the help of sql login and password okay so let's wait yeah so you can see now we are connected with the help of sql authentication and if i expand the database you can see this database as well and let's connect to this database and now i want to validate my permissions so let's try to create a table create table demo table id int and same and name varchar 20 let's try to execute this so you can see it says create table permission is denied in the database so this error is coming because we have just given data reader access permission to this user so it won't be able to perform any create table statement which is a ddl statement it will only be able to perform select statement which comes as a data reader access so what i am going to do is i am going to create the table with the help of my enter id authentication where i am connected in this second tab and then i am going to read to the table using this first tab okay so let's let me cut from here let me paste it here and if i execute this so it completed successfully and now if i try to select star from this table with the help of my sql authentication it should work although there will be no rows so you can see the select statement work because it has the data reader access but if i try to insert into this table demo table say select one comma annu let's try to execute you can see it says insert permission was denied on this object because it does not have any right access okay so if i try to insert with the help of my enter id it will be able to insert row and you can see the data again from the sql authentication you can see the data has been inserted but not from a sql authentication but from my enter id authentication now if i give some data writer access you can see data writer access is also available so if i give that then let me execute this so now a new demo user will be able to uh, insert row into the table as well so let me give say ashish let me execute this so now you can see insert statement worked successfully because the right permission has been assigned now now similarly if i try to create a table let me copy this create statement here again and let me give demo table 2 and still will not have a create uh, permission okay for that if we give some other role which is ddl admin role let me copy this and paste it here if i give ddl admin permission to this user we should be able to create the table so you can see create table execution got successful with the help of sql authentication as well so now if we want to access this sql server with the help of any resource or any service in azure for example azure data factory then we can simply use this user id and password that we just created this is the login and the password is welcome at the rate 123 that we just created and we can establish a connection to this sql server with the help of this sql authentication method but still if we want to assign some role we are still dependent on the enter id authentication because that is what is set as the admin in our sql database so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you